Hi everyone, I'm Felipe Hoffa and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to do analytics over large volumes of text using LLMs in Cortex-AI. This type of analytics can help business quickly gauge overall customer satisfaction and identify recurring themes that could be used to enhance products. Those same insights can also be used to quickly catch common topics that may require immediate business action. Let's get started by looking at the data. Okay, let me show you what I put together in this notebook. First thing I notice when looking at the data is that customers leave reviews in multiple languages. So we can figure out how many of those are in other languages with a simple query. Here we can see that the top languages include Deutsche, Portuguese, French, and many others. I'm going to need a lot of help translating those. I could try to do the Spanish ones, but that's a lot of work. Uh, what about all the others? Well, uh, one of the new Cortex functions translates between any two languages. And there's another Cortex function that looks at text in English and outputs sentiment. So I can create a table that calculates the sentiment for each review. And for those that are not in English, I translated them before. That will take two minutes to materialize, so I already did it before the demo. But this is a beautiful query. Text translation and text sentiment analysis, and it was materialized across all reviews in just two minutes. And note that these functions are not a general purpose LLM, but a much more optimized way of getting these results. Now, now you might be wondering, how are these reviews distributed? An old school query bucketizing the scores in 0.5 increments will do. Uh, but to really show off these results, I want to visualize them. With notebooks, I have the power to bring all the Python visualizations I might want. Let's use Plotly here. See, that's a beautiful curve. Uh -huh. There's a lot of positive reviews, but today I'm interested in the negative tail. But before we move on, did you notice that I'm using the results of the previous cell in this one? So instead of moving a lot of data to compute the histogram, I'm just using the results of my previous SQL query uh, within my Python code. That's a cool notebooks feature. Now, let's find what's the worst track. Which of all the tracks is receiving the largest number of reviews with a sentiment below minus 0.75? This is my query. And the results say that it's track number five. Let's get a sample of those reviews. Uh, the food at Kitakana Roman Bar was extremely disappointing. The service was terrible. The poor quality, disappointing, disaster. That's bad. So now I want to use an LLM to parse the content of these reviews and see what kind of bad reviews we're getting. I'm going to use Snowflake Arctic and I'm going to ask it to output semi-structured data so we can analyze it deeper. This is my query and while it works, I'm, we can see that I'm asking it to analyze reviews to output uh, what categories each of these reviews is mentioning and because I want to make sure it outputs semi-structured data, a JSON, uh, I'm going to give it an example to do this. We went over 25 reviews in this case, and now we can see exactly what sentiments are the most uh, common. I see a lot of food qualities, but I love see hygiene standards, etc. But we can parse this. This is JSON. So let's parse it and summarize it. See, food quality is the top complaint, but also I see standards, ambience, customer support, menu options. So now let's take the data and let's write an email to the food truck owner. And instead of writing the whole email, let's use again Arctic to write an email to the administrator. And let's also show the administrator the data that we have compiled. So we are aggregated to everything, including the results of the previous cell. Um, let's give it a second, two seconds, nine seconds, sometimes 10. Here's the email. Uh, let me show you the whole email with the results of the previous cell, which says, hey, I hope this email finds you well. 
here are the type of reviews you're getting, and I can email this to the food truck administrator. And that's it, I'm done. You just saw how I analyzed thousands of reviews and generated custom content using LLMs in Cortex-AI with easy to use SQL functions. If you haven't already, give Snowflake Cortex a try using Snowflake Notebooks following the quick start linked in the description. Thank <laughs> you.